Do you remember this guy? We have been following this Valley man's amazing story. We first told you about him back in June. Pasqual, he lost more than 300 pounds by doing it the, the right way, eating right and exercising. But he was left, obviously, with a lot of skin after he lost all that weight. And on Monday, he's undergoing surgery to have that skin removed. Marcy Jones joins us now with this Fox follow-up. It's an amazing story, and you've been there every step of the way. It really is. He's so motivational. And you know what? We know him as Pasquale, but to thousands, he's known as Possible Pat, all because he's a man on a mission to inspire others through his weight loss journey. We met up with Pat earlier today to talk about surgery and his post-op plans. Just four days before Pasquale Bracco goes under the knife to get his excess skin removed, he's showing off his skills in the kitchen that lost him more than 330 pounds. A lot of people don't realize it's not just eating clean, it's cooking clean. If you don't, if you cook a healthy meal in Greece, is no longer healthy. Just three years ago, Pat was 605 pounds. But thanks to eating clean and a rigorous workout schedule, he's down to a lean 280, leaving a lot of extra skin. That's where surgery comes in. Pat says he's nervous, but driven. And now I see, like, I can't turn back. Like, there's no turning back, especially when I'm motivating so many people. Post-surgery, Pat says he's dedicating his life to fitness and helping others be the healthiest they can be. Because people don't have the knowledge. I didn't, I didn't know. I was never taught in school, oh, you should be eating this or you shouldn't be doing this. And if people know, I feel like we can save lives through it. With hopes to compete in a fitness competition this January, Pat says it's no longer about him. It's about encouraging others, like a 500-pound man who reached out to Pat saying that if it weren't for him, he would have given up. Before I saw your story, I was going to commit suicide, too. It was like you gave me hope, and now I know I can do it. And I was just like, oh. like at that point, I realized you need to keep on working. I need to work harder because there's so many more people that I could help. With so much on the line, Pat adds there's no excuses, even injuries or holidays. I broke my radio head and I didn't miss a day. I trained legs, I did cardio and I did abs. Christmas? No, nah, I go on Christmas, yeah. on Thanksgiving, and I'll be the one cooking. <laughs> He's so he cool. Great. And he knows that this is much bigger than just himself. He's yeah. helping yeah. thousands of people on social media. They all know him as possible, Pat. And he's so fun. And even the people who don't reach out and say he helped me, that the people who go, okay, tomorrow I'm mm -hmm. going to take that first step or I'm going to cut back on this or work out. Absolutely. It's amazing. It's, it, diet is really the key, right? I mean, yes. diet's 90% yeah. of it, right? Yeah. And he, you know, he's done his research. He knows that 81% of certain deaths are because they're all diet related. You know, Tons of things with heart disease, diabetes, right. all that right. kind of stuff. And he just, he's empowering himself with knowledge to get through this journey. And it's, right. he's so great. It's been great to follow yep. along. Thanks, yep. Marcy.